and family, it's your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we back in this thing to talk about another Netflix series called 1899. Now, it hmm. comes from the creators of Dark. If you ain't never seen Dark, it's a mind bending, confusing as hell. <laughs> you need a map or, or a family tree line in front of you to keep up with every. Like character if you thought, world. if you watch Game of Thrones and you thought Game of Thrones was bad, figuring out who was related to who because it was just so many people, dark like levels up because that is confusing as heck. But anyways, we're not talking about we're dark. right. We're not talking about we're dark, talking about but AC. it does have some of the characters from yes, dark and dark, yeah. like I said, it was the same uh creators. Right. Uh so 1899 focuses on the ship called uh Prometheus, Prometheus and uh which was lost at sea. Yeah, I think and then the name of the actual ship. The other ship was the Kimbos, the yeah, Krebos. so they were on the Krebos and they were looking for the Prometheus. No, they weren't looking for the the that boat specifically wasn't looking for the Prometheus. They were supposed to be traveling from Europe to New America. York. Yeah, yeah. So in the but in the mix of all of that, so them traveling, they get a uh, little signal. message or a signal or whatever. And it happens to be from the Prometheus, this boat that went missing four for four months. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like on some Bermuda Triangle. You know how they say you mm -hmm. go to the Bermuda Triangle, planes, ships, and all that get lost. Yeah, they and crash then and go missing. And go stuff. missing. So it's almost like that whole aspect of the, mm -hmm. the whole thing. And throughout the whole show, you see triangles everywhere. Everywhere. Triangles everywhere. So I tried to keep up with all the triangles, but it was yeah. a lot. And I mean, I'm not really sure. I don't know if they really touched on how, the significance really of the triangles like that. It, I think it. I know they got the, goes the, back pyramid, to the pyramid thing. Yeah, yeah, the pyramid. So it might have some connection to that. But yeah, so the show goes every. It's like the lady, the main character has a letter from her brother saying, "I figured out what Dad's been up to." Uh, what did it say? Come to America. What did yeah, it say? Like, come, come to, to America see me or something like that. Yeah. Something so the letter like she had, and then it had some uh, uh, wording on the back saying, uh, "What was lost will be found." Well, yeah. What yeah. was lost will be found. So, all right, we about to get some spoilers alert. Right? <laughs> That's the only way I'm gonna keep be able yeah. to keep going by. So, come to find out, every main character on the ship got uh, that exact same letter. Right. From different people. From different people. So basically like people they love. So I felt like it was people they share um, some type of connection with. Right. So, and that's when, you know, the whole mystery of, all right, what really happened to the Prometheus? Uh, what's this person's backstory? And it's almost like each person did something that was almost, that was very terrible for the most part. Right. Yeah. So now it's almost like, all right, we're about to make y'all relive this. Like somebody is controlling all of this. And, and then it also come to turn out that this whole thing was a simulation. Mm -hmm. And that there, I don't even know how many boats there were. Yeah, but it was a ton it of was boats. So like they many boats. kept experimenting and yeah. experimenting, trying so to figure every, out something. I think they said that every simulation eight lasted days. like yeah eight days. Yeah. So they went through that whole process. So they were like doing the same thing over and over and over again, but they wouldn't remember. They remember the. They wouldn't remember the last yeah. time they. So went they're through the like simulation. they can't like fix it or whatever. But there was but somebody. But in the simulation, you always got somebody that's out of the matrix, unplugged, woke. You know what I'm saying? And it was somebody in there that was out of there when they was right, woke. And they were like reliving the, they were reliving it. They basically got on the other boat so they could tell somebody on that boat, one of the main characters, like, hey, this is a simulation, basically, like and the, to try to expose it. And they had it set up to where the father was like the main bad guy, but mm -hmm. really... It almost was like at the end, it wasn't really him that set the whole thing up. 
it was actually the main character that set the whole system up. Right. Which is kind of crazy. Right. Because like she they ended up really in her things. own simulation, basically. That's what they that's what they tried to like touch on type of thing. But it is like we could sit here and try to explain all the stuff in this show, but there is so much stuff that it would be we would forget things. So I don't want to like discredit the show by like forgetting the good details of it. But it is like if you like mind bending shows shows that require you to think and even shows that you like to try to predict like like I had my own predictions as to who somebody was and stuff like that just even having watched dark or parts of dark because I didn't fully understand it um like you know just tying it back to because it has the same like writer like what they may do type thing um but it, it's definitely a good show. Like, if I had to rate it from, like, a 0 to 10, I would give it, like, an 8. What do you say? Yeah, I'd give it about a seven and a half, eight. Yeah, it wasn't Because it bad. wasn't better than Dark. No, it wasn't. Like, dark but is, it was like more, a level 10 It was more or less show. confusing than Dark. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. think the writers might have took that into consideration because they might have seen how people was... A lot of people, I felt like that because when we didn't talk about this movie to other people, mm -hmm. they was like, uh, we tried to get into it, but it's it was so just much, too much yeah. going on with it. And yeah. Yeah. You really you gotta, got, you really got to enjoy those type of movies right. or shows to really, get really into get into it and enjoy it fully. Because I, I love stuff like that. So I fully enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. But. Yeah, I definitely say check it out. Like Bree said, if you enjoy things like that, mind bending, mystery, trying to figure this out, that out, and just some thinking outside the box type stuff. Because yeah, it's really what it is. Have to it's think really a bit some outside of the box. Thinking outside the box. Literally. Like they mind how they put this stuff together is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. And it almost like puts me in the mindset of like, and it's not a, a like it's not a American based show. It's based. I want to say they speak German. Was not everybody German? there speaks German. Yeah, no, not but French they have German. people on the boat that speak different languages. Some people speak French. Some yeah, but we speak had German. it in. Uh, I mean, we had like English the dub, voiceover, voiceover and yeah. the which. Oh, that's another thing. It wasn't that bad to us, and we didn't watch some crappy English voiceovers. But this was kind of pretty yeah, it good. Was. To me. It really was. So yeah, it really, it really, really was. So I mean, it's a great show. Like we both said, just definitely check it out if you're into like that mind bending type and of people stuff. that are really into this and watch this please drop comments down yeah, below yeah definitely and let us know your say theories some, and yes please tell us some theories cause I wanna really really discuss this show right here yeah, cause I know it's some stuff one. that I probably missed or you think they'll have another been put together I hope they do yeah, I hope because so now that they she then woke up out that yeah. thing, I want to know if she if you made this far. I want to know is, is that a simulation? Is she still in the simulation? <laughs> yes. Right. Like, is it gonna be like almost Inception. like on right? Yeah. Like that's what inside I was just a, a dream inside like a dream, dream inside, inside of a dream, dream inside of a dream inside of a dream. Like, is it gonna be that in depth? You know, of simulation. Like, I can really see Leonardo DiCaprio in this type of show like this. Yeah. Because if you think about Shutter Island. And it yeah, could be like that. Like, all right, what is real and what is not? Right, and that's what it kind of makes you question. Like, okay, is this a real thing? Is this not a real thing? And then it just makes you question a lot, and you really try to figure out what in the world is going on. So, good show. Right. I don't really have too too much else to say about it because I don't want to spoil it too much. But yeah. So that's it for our review on eighteen ninety nine. Let us know what y'all think about the show. If y'all watched it, let us know down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, please. We greatly appreciate it. And like we said before, we're back in this thing. Check out uh, our Black Panther review because that movie was off the chain for sure. But it's been your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we out.